Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're in Watford and it's another episode of Miniature Railway Britain and this time we're revisiting the Watford Miniature Railway in Cashiery Park. Now the reason we're revisiting it so soon is because they've got a visiting locomotive today so more on that when we get to the railway. As you can see right now we're currently in a housing estate. This is Cashiery Park Drive. Now I did in the last video we came here by train and we walked through the park and I did tell you a bit about the estate. So we're going to have a look at a bit more of the estate and as you can see, Cashiery Park Drive. So this is all built on part of the estate. The house would have been down there somewhere. I believe the house has been completely built on. But there's something else I more wanted to focus on in this video. Not the busy road but that does come into it. I did mention there was once a grand gatehouse to Cassiobre Park and that gatehouse stood right here. Now if you look at the path you can see, see where the brick paving is? That is an outline of where the gate stood but unfortunately what happened they had to be demolished when they built this section of the road. The original width of the road would have just been the, the width of the other carriageway so when they widened the road the gates which were built in 1802 by James Watt when they remodelled the estate were demolished in 1970s. I think that's a real shame but here we have an outline showing you where one of the polygonal towers would have been and if we have a look down here it may not look like much but I believe these bricks here are bricks from the Cashbury Park house. Now if we have a look here that is the park where we're going to go into. There's a little bit of history here on the gates and if you look there you can see a painting of what they look like and that's what the house would look like and there's an old postcard of the gates so that tower there would have been in the middle of where the road is the one that there's a paved outline of is this tower here and there's a group out there today who would like to rebuild the gates which I think is a really nice idea so I assume they'll be set back from the original site because obviously the road's there probably in this area here but I think that would be really nice to once again walk through the gate into Castlebury Park and be able to walk down the avenue as we're doing today to the Miniature Railway. If you have a look here there is a sign it tells you how far everything is so Miniature Railway Children's Playground 14 minutes it says it's going to take it's 130 metres so um, yeah about half a mile or so funny enough about the same length as the Watford Miniature Railway so hopefully at some point in the future we'll be walking through those gates and we'll stand and look behind us and see the back of the gates. I believe one of it would have been like a lodge where possibly a park keeper would have lived or possibly both of them and they were just the grand gates into the park. The estate was originally the home of the Earls of Essex but unfortunately once the estate got sold off the council owned it, it became houses were built as we saw over there. There are other parts of the estate, the stable survived but we'll perhaps do that another day because no doubt Cashbury Park or the Watford Mitch Railway will have other visiting locos so there's perfect another reason to come here again and see a bit more of Cashbury Park itself because it's a fascinating park that was once a country estate. It's now Watford's main park even on a day like today when as you can see it's raining, it's autumn and there's not many other people here but still has a really nice feeling and I'm you know I'm happy I am I'm here and not just sat at home watching telly so what's going to happen now I'm going to walk for the next half a mile or so down this avenue and um, we're going to find a miniature railway we're going to have a ride behind a steam locomotive which I should tell you about when we get there So we're now about halfway along the avenue from where the gates once stood to the Miniature Railway and I've spotted something quite interesting that I'd like to show you. Well firstly, over there is the park's bandstand, but this is something that perhaps wouldn't be very exciting, but it's been made to look exciting. Over here is a shipping container now, don't worry I haven't got a new interest in shipping containers, but I do like this one because when we get past this tree you see what they've done. They've put some big pictures on it of the estate how it once looked. So if we have a look here on the doors to the shipping container or the gates let's say to the shipping container are 
the Cashbury Park gates. So you can see see it all much bigger now rather than looking at the small pictures on the interpretation board back by the road. So what happened is the one where they've put some paving would have been this side and then unfortunately the road now sweeps across like this here. So that is why they were sadly demolished. But you know I do hope the group who wishes to recreate them does recreate them and it really would be great to see them again. Maybe if they're successful with that, they want another project. Perhaps they could rebuild Cashbury Park House, but I think um, as nice as it would be, I think that's probably a bit too ambitious. But here we are, we can actually see the house. So it says it dates back to 1546, remodelled in the 17th and 19th century, and then unfortunately it was demolished in 1927. But look what a great grand Gothic house it was. And if we have a look round here, there's a couple of lesser known landmarks that once stood. I believe that's the old water mill, which we did mention in the other video when we went down to the river and the canal. Perhaps one day if we come here again, because I said we will, there'll always be visiting locos. We'll have a look at that next time. Now this one I find quite interesting and I don't know too much about it. So if anyone watching would like to comment and help me a bit here. It says it's a Swiss cottage built as a summer house in 1820 for the Earl of Essex for his parties and picnics. That all makes sense. Demolished in the 1940s. So I agree with that, rain's getting heavier, but one thing I would like to know about, as you drive into Cashbury Park, where you go under the railway viaduct, there is a wooden cottage, it's always fascinating me, one day, I don't think I'm going to walk through the rain today to go and see it, but one day we'll go and have a look, and if anyone knows, if you want to comment and tell me what that is, I don't think it is this building, but it's of a similar kind of look, then, you know, please do comment and tell me, but now, the rain's getting heavier, I'm going to walk on down the avenue to the miniature railway and have what's probably going to be quite a wet ride but you know still good fun as I said I'd, I'd prefer to be doing this be out in the rain in a nice park than um, just sitting at home and not doing enough so on we go down the avenue to the miniature railway So we just walked down the avenue from where the gates once stood and where hopefully they will stand again one day. We're just now coming down to the Watford Miniature Railway where we've come to see the visiting locomotive they have, Ernest Henry Upton. So although we were here fairly recently, I did say certain Miniature Railways may be featured again if they extend or have galas or if um, a visiting loco comes along that's worth coming to see and that's exactly what we've got here today so here's the railway station there's the train and sitting here in the platform is Ernest Henry Upton the steam locomotive we've come back here especially to see she was built in 1937 originally called Sir A Montgomery well, it looks like she's possibly going to be turned originally called Sir A Montgomery built in 1937 and she ran at Dudley Zoo and now she's been all over the place pretty much and she was eventually put into store so she, and rebuilt in 2005 to the name of Ernest Henry Upton Upton not about to turn I'm not sure so yes called Ernest Henry Upton now and she's now based at the East, East Lee Lakeside Miniature Railway which is somewhere we're definitely going to feature at some point in the future not entirely sure when but here she is we're going to go and have a little ride on her and it's great to see an engine this age still in steam at the miniature railway Just over there is another steam locomotive, Marley. It looks like she might, she's also pulling off. I last had her for haulage in 1996. So we're only turning up to know if there's any locos for me today. So there's two steam locos.
so when they come back from lunch I shall have my right. Hello. Hello. 